Hey, what's going on guys? Adam Ronisto here for day number 11. Have you noticed how in the last couple of videos I've been speaking with more power? I've been speaking with more energy? I'll tell you why. It's because I feel more confident in myself about doing this. I didn't exactly know what I was going to talk about before for the last couple of days. You know, this is day only, only day 11 out of 90. But the fact that I've done it for 11 days consistently is all that much more reason to continue going. So if you have a huge goal, just like we said before, you want to take it in small sections. So if you can't do something for 90 days, then go ahead and just do it for two weeks. If you can't do it for two weeks, just do it for seven days. Because it might take you literally walking out of your bed, kicking your own ass to try and get yourself to take that first step. And I'll tell you what, once you take that first step, why not put the next foot in front of your, your other one and you just keep moving forward? Because once you start moving forward, you already are in momentum. If you stop, and, well, it's just harder to get back up. But I tell you what, if you stop dead in your tracks, it's not the end of the world either. But let me tell you a story real quick. I spoke to a dear friend recently, and I don't want to give any names or anything like that, but it's somebody who I haven't talked to in a long time. He was having, having a rough time in his life, and he just needed somebody to be there to listen. Um, explain the story I listened. He appreciated the fact that I was just listening. I gave him a couple you know, words of advice, he, you know, and, and now he's doing what he needs to do. I have faith that he's going to go exactly where he needs to go because of one big thing. He's been focusing more all these years on his character versus his personality. See, when you focus on your personality traits, these are secondary things. What, what is personality traits? Personality traits is trying to be able to speak better with people, being able to manipulate scenarios in your favor, being just more presentable by the way you dress or the way you act. These are secondary traits to who you really are. When you focus on your character, you're building on these huge, giant roots of who you really are. It's the difference between are you building something from the ground up or are you just building something in midair. If you don't have that structure, if you don't have that base, everything's going to come crashing down. So when you build on your character, um, what you're building on is your quality to want to serve, your ability to lead with integrity. and. I know for a fact he's going to be he's going to be not only jumping out of that scenario, but he's going to be just charging forward. Because you know why? He's been focusing on his character instead of just the personality. You know, we all learn some tricks. I'm making these videos right now to become a better communicator, but that's only because I've already found who I am. I already know that I'm going to lead with integrity. I'm already going to lead with power in my voice because I have a huge dream. And that dream is one day I will be in front of millions of people, whether it be virtually or on a stage, in just a stadium or a huge area, and I will be telling them about how I got there. I'll be telling them about whatever I feel it is that they need to hear at the time, because we all learn a lot differently. And one of my biggest goals is I want to be able to take something. And I want to break it up in several different ways. You're going to hear me repeat myself constantly. But I'm going to say it just a little bit differently because we all learn just a little bit differently. Um, I've heard before that when people get sick, you know, we all get ill at times, right? Well, some more than others. Um, I heard the term just a regular cold, you know, it's all, it's all right. Well, let me tell you this. There's no such thing as a regular cold. Matter of fact, the body is not intentionally made specifically to become ill. If you have a cold, then that's your body telling you that there's something wrong. And, you know, it may be common, but it's not regular. And it's kind of the same thing with sadness. Because sometimes you fall into a rut. Sometimes you go to the bottom. And even if you haven't been focusing on your character, you've been focusing more on the personality trait, I'll tell you what, it's not the end of the world. Because you can still crawl out of that hole and start moving one foot in front of the other. Sadness, just like cold, is not normal. There's a reason for it. And I can't promise you during these videos that I'm going to give you the remedy for what you're experiencing right now. But I'll tell you what, maybe somewhere down the road, one of the videos saying the same message over and over will make more sense. We all learn differently. You know, some of us are auditory learners. Some of us learn from when we have hands-on experience, when we just feel things, when we see things. And that makes a huge difference. I can talk about that more, but what I really, really want to touch base on is stop living in a world of duplicity. What I mean by that is, everyone has this idea that if you want to succeed, you have to do it at the expense of somebody else. You have, so many people feel 
They have to have that win-lose mentality. I win, you lose. There's only one giant piece of pie, and if you grab one, then that compromises my ability from being able to have any. No, it doesn't, because we should live just like the animals and have a symbiotic relationship. They're smart enough to do it. Why can't we do it? Why can't we look out for somebody else's um, own interests as well as our own and come to either a compromise or come to a place where we can have everything we want fulfilled, you know? We don't have to have, we don't have to push our own ideas on other people. It's not that important. We can all succeed at once. As I said before, maturity is a perfect balance of having courteousness as well as courage. You cannot be walked over and have, you know, no say. But you can't mow other people down. What you have to do is you have to be respectful of others' opinion and you have to at the same time be strong enough to tell your own. Have that power, have that energy. Just burst out of your shell and go out there. Take action of your life. We can live in a win win We can live with a win-win mentality. When you have duplicity in your life, things like it's either hard or soft, strong or weak, you completely screen yourself over. Because I'll tell you what, some people have said before I'm too nice. Well, you know what? You can be tough and nice at the same time. That's the point of win-win, because you're courteous enough to respect other people where they're going. At the same time, you're not going to be mowed down because other people are talking to you and saying that you don't know where you're going. You know what? If you know where you're going, that's powerful enough. You can still take people's opinions and not be threatened by them, because you already know where you're going. So I'm going to leave it at that. Sorry if I ran into raid for a little bit. I hope that you can take some value of this, and if not, stick around for a minute. Let me try to convey the same message a couple different times, and hopefully it'll be just what you need to hear to get your spirits just woke. Because when you, when you feel that jolt, and it can only happen from you, when you feel that bolt of energy and you finally take action for the first time in your life, that's when magic happens. I've been saying that before, and I'll keep saying it again. But this is day 11. I'm so proud to be here already because I know there's going to be amazing things ahead of this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it for any of those who like it. Take care. See you tomorrow.